Goedemorgen allemaal. Welcome back. <sighs> Today is Wiz's birthday, so I wanted to vlog this morning, but it was just so busy. We had a FaceTime with his brother, my parents, his parents, everyone. And then I made breakfast, so I made scrambled eggs on croissants with cream cheese and sun-dried tomato and it was delicious and we had mimosas and now we've just gotten ourselves ready and we're gonna go to Leiden again and have breakfast and not breakfast lunch like a late lunch have a little walk around it's boiling hot today um well it feels boiling hot from the usual it's about 27 ish degrees it's bloody hot so i'm just wearing actually a sports bra and this shirt because i'm like actually scared of the sun because i got so burnt by the week and the only sandals i have are yeezy slides so i'm wearing yeezy slides with jeans and this and hopefully i'm cool enough tomorrow we are meeting friends for lunch for wes's birthday so i think that'll be a good one and then this afternoon i think we're just gonna do a very chilled outing come back it's formula one tonight so we'll watch that hopefully have like a nice cold bath because it's so hot here and we don't have any fans but a few of the windows in our apartment don't open so it's hot <laughs> We've just finished lunch and now we are just walking through this beautiful little garden right by the Leiden University. It's gorgeous in here. Hello guys. This vlog has been all over the show. Anyway, I've been really bad. I took the whole week of just doing my own thing. We had Wes's birthday last weekend. On the Saturday, we obviously did our own thing. And then on the Sunday, we made friends for lunch. And it was great. So it was really fun. And then this week has been not that busy. I haven't done a whole bunch of stuff. But it's been good though. It's been emotional. I've been very homesick. I'm not gonna lie. Although life looks amazing this side and it really is we're very lucky to be in such a beautiful country it's very first world it's like everything works it's it's beautiful we love it here we really do but it does not come without hardships and bad days so it has been a very homesick week which is fun it's normal and we're working through it and just trying to stay as positive as possible being with dogs definitely helps so this weekend we have a five-year-old french bulldog staying with us for saturday and sunday so it's saturday now he's arrived this morning and i must say i think i forgot what it's like to own a frenchie they can be put it this way money does not buy class yeah, he's bloody crazy. He's like proper crackhead energy. And majority of Frenchies are actually cooked in the head. So he's amazing and I love it. And I wouldn't have it any other day, any other way. I love French Bulldogs. It's like my favorite breed. I love bully breeds. French Bulldogs, English Bulldogs. Anyway, he's here. We've had to roll up our carpet because he's already vomited on it twice. He drank so much water that it like just was too much for him and he vomited water on our carpet thank goodness it was water and not something else disgusting so he rolled up the carpet then he decided it was time to take a massive poo in the hallway oh i just i remember now what it's like to own a french bulldog but it's so rewarding because he is so entertaining every time i try and mop the floor because he he flipping drinks water and then so much water comes out of his mouth every time i try and mop up the water he wants to attack the broom it's hilarious he is so funny so 
this weekend. I shall show you what we get up to. We don't have a lot planned. It's basically just looking after the rubble. And I want to make some banana bread just now. So maybe I will video the banana bread making. Listen, I'm no master chef, but I'm sure it will be delicious. Yeah, that's the plan. Hello, my boy. Do you want to come up here? Come. Oh, oh no. Here we go. Come for a cuddle. You're a good boy. Are you a crackhead? Yes, you are. You are. Oh, sweet boy. You are going to fall. You are going to fall. <laughs> These rolls. Oh. This has got to be the weirdest thing I've ever experienced. Rubble! This is strange! Why do you do this? Okay, got my ingredients out. I've got my sous chef. What's happening? I'm gonna have a banana bread. And let's go. I need to preheat the oven to 180. So I don't actually have a proper mixer, but this one, it's Russell Hobbs one from Amazon, is perfect. So, I'm officially the messiest cook. That is all flour. Anyway, mash the bananas, put everything in. I need to do one last, ugh, one last zoom up, put the blueberries in, and then I can preheat the oven. Sleeping with a toy in his mouth, baby. Okay, this is ready for the oven. It's very full. I think it's going to probably overflow. I've put brown sugar on top so that it gets nice and crispy. This is ready. Success. Okay. Remember what this looks like because I'm about to clean. Done. We are clean. This is cooking. That is beautiful. Are you proud of yourself? I am. This is a rebel. <laughs> and how is that? I feel like it needs to go in for longer. Yeah, possibly. I don't think that I'm going to get this off. So this looks soft amazing. out. Okay, that's it now. How crispy does that top look? Can we please get a zoom in on the crisp and give it down so we can see? Oof. Look at that even, how it's like hollow. Much better. Yeah, perfect. That's perfect. Rebel. Hey. You are so beautiful. Are you a beautiful piglet? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you are so handsome. Rubs. <laughs> I've just forgotten like how comical it is to own a French bulldog. It's just like, they are just so entertaining. Look at that bun. Rubble. Rubby. He, it's like he doesn't know his name. <laughs> he 
You are so handsome. Oh! And there's that gold. I wish that like you could see what I see right now. <laughs> He's actually nibbling on my ear. Uh uh, uh, uh don't do that. <laughs> oh my god, he's humping me! <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Are so weird. The star. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, so the banana bread is out and it is looking beautiful. Oh, a little bark from our little visitor. How gorgeous is that? I'm so excited. This is just all like caramelized sugar on top. How beautiful. I don't know. I don't think it's cooked for too little. I think it's just very think, moist from the blueberries. I think there's too many blueberries. Oh, okay, so I overdid the blueberries. I think you should have put in like maybe. But I'm sure it's delicious. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure it is. It is. It's very good. You eat. And? Mm. Okay, rubs. So like little donuts. Yeah. <laughs> Taste test was successful. I will link this recipe down below. Well, actually, I'll just write this recipe down below. Okay, so this is a little bit of a fail. We were going to do a picnic into Hachsebos and picnic with him. But he seems to be really battling for some reason. Like, his breathing is not good. It is, like, warmer. So, maybe it's that. But we just turned around and we're going to picnic at home. And he wants to take his harness off. He is so funny. So we're gonna go home. Are you buggered? So now we are in the lounge. Having a picnic on the couch. You're a good boy. Are we sleeping? My foot? I think he is sleeping. But like his head's heavy on my foot. Is it? Yes. Yes, he may be. Yes, he's falling asleep.
boy. Come up here. Squeezing your rose. Doesn't get much better than this. Cuddling with a Frenchie. Watching Desperate Housewives. But mostly cuddling with a Frenchie. Little boy. Rubby. Look at all his rolls. He's like a croissant. Are oh, you a darling? Can't get enough of you. Are you gonna live here forever, Rebel? Please live here forever. Hello. So it's Sunday morning. We have had a very slow morning, basically last night. I don't think Rubble slept very well at all. Like I know he's out of sorts and he's pining for his dad. Last night was oh, he was very restless. He was like up and down on the bed, off the bed, sniffing around, snorting around. His breathing is really bad. I'm not gonna lie. So he just didn't feel comfortable. And then our neighbors got home at like half past four this morning and woke him up, so he barked. He's got the funniest little bark though, it's so cute. And then I took him out for a wee about just before six. And then we came back and he slept really well. Now he's been sleeping the entire morning. I took him out for another walk after his breakfast. And now he's just been chilling, but he's very cute. He loves to sleep with his chin like up on something i think it's because of his breathing i really think like he's got some flat face squishy issues because he does have a very squished little face he has had his soft palate resection done six weeks ago i think so it is quite new and fresh so maybe there's some inflammation still from there but otherwise he's been pretty good he is so entertaining i really feel like i could never give him back he's so cute See what I mean about the chin resting on something? He seems to be sleeping quite soundly now. Anyway, he gets picked up tonight by his dad at around 5 p.m. I think. And yeah, otherwise we're just gonna be chilling today. We'll take him out for a bit of a walk. Seems to be more of a brighter day. Yesterday was very overcast. Come on. Rubs. Come sir. <laughs> what are you doing? So, our downstairs neighbor's plant, if I'm not mistaken, this is a wisteria but it's growing up and around this wire that was already here, I don't know what it's for, all the way around. And then it started growing back up around itself. So I unwound it and now I've wrapped it around the balustrade and I really hope it carries on growing and the flowers. That'll be so beautiful. And it's doing it here on the side as well. I'm so chuffed about this. It's gonna be so pretty because it flowers that beautiful purple flower. See this one here, they're beautiful. Oh, that just fell down inside. Hello, handsome boy. Rubs. Rubby, I can't get over these balls. Rubble, you are a rubbish sometime. Should your name be rubbish? Look how my hands are turned and my arms are not from riding my bike. I hate it so much. Rubbish. Hey, what are you doing? Oh. Rubble. Hey. This is the beautiful flower that it flowers. So it would be beautiful if it could just carry on growing and flower. Got ourselves a little sun pig. Get the toy in the mouth. Rib. Oh, huh? Mm. 
<laughs> You're pretty gross sometimes, eh? Hey? Hey, don't put your bum in our face. Oh dear. Good boy. So Rubble has gone home and I have put a mask in my hair and we have cycled out to a forest not so far away from us and we just parked our bikes and now we're just going for a walk around. It's really beautiful. We're in Vassanar at the moment but I'm not sure what the forest is called but it's really beautiful in here. This tree that has just fallen over. This is a very solid cow. So many flowers, baby. We took a little detour going home and came past the Peace Palace. And it's actually such a nice evening. There are little bikes. Okay, so what was the high of the weekend? Rubble. Yeah, but him doing what? Humping you. <laughs> He would no, not stop It was just nice me. having a little baby to like love. Yeah, it definitely was. That was definitely the high of the weekend. Hello guys. It's Monday now. I have just washed my hair, as you can see. Yeah, I am going to put a face mask on now. Anyway, I don't have somewhere to put my phone video, so that's why I'm bending over. I'm going to put my face mask on. Check out my there. Is that better? <laughs> Basically yesterday Rubble was so chilled. Maybe I can just kneel. That's better. On Saturday he was so crazy I was actually worried at what we had gotten ourselves into. And then oh I just okay so this is the, the face mask I use. The Lush Beauty Sleep face mask and scrub. So I'm gonna easily does. It's got like little bits of berry in it. Um, if I could read Dutch, I would read the label for you guys. But actually, I have no idea what's in it because I can't read Dutch. Okay, so Rubble. It was so funny. On Saturday, he did not chill at all. Maybe slept for like 20 minutes the whole day. He was crazy, um, but I think it's just new smells. So overwhelming for him. Is this all over? Great. Anyway, so right before I wash my hands, let me just finish my story. He was crazy on Saturday. Then he had a pretty chilled evening. He was fine. And then the whole of Sunday, he was the most chilled. He slept pretty much the entire time. He was so cute. His man was very kind and he tipped me 25 euro. So he booked through the Porsche app and that only charged him for the one night because he technically only stayed here for one night. He stayed here for Saturday night. But the man was really kind and he was like, he's actually stayed here for two days, so he has 25 euros. So happy. So high five to you, Darren. Ew. I just put a face mask on with his toothbrush.
Let me wash that quick. Okay, anyway. This morning I just washed my hair because I put that hair mask in yesterday and then I slept with it in, which was gross. And my hair was such a mess this morning. It was like all crispy from the hair mask, but it was actually fine because once I wet it and washed it, it was feeling so soft. The water here is just so hard that I feel like it's making my hair dry out and go crusty at the end. But I booked a hair appointment for when I'm in South Africa. Well, my mom has booked me a hair appointment from when I'm in South Africa. So thank you, mom. And I might just chop a lot of it off. Today, I don't have much planned at all, except for a meet and greet with the dog we're looking after next month at eight o'clock tonight. But it's fine because it's still sunny as hell at eight. I'm just going to be chilling at home. I'm going to edit a vlog and then I'm going to probably call my mom a bit later. Yeah, just a very chill day at home. I shall leave this here. Until next time, bye.